Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that is trying to have a year long now by. I'm so sick of tired of myself saying that. And today I'm here with a video. I guess this is going to be get read with me. I honestly don't really know. I'm going to use the lowest cosmetics meet me in the underworld palette. I do love this palette. I have done free looks one palette with it and it looks like this. I do love the color story. It is so cool and I do love the whole theme about this. But this has been a palette that I didn't like that much in my first impression but the more I've used it the more I've loved it and now I do love it. I don't know though what to do today but I guess we will get there and I actually have no idea what I want to talk about today either. It feels like I'm in a crisis but I don't know. Like I don't really know what I feel about this eyeshadow primer. It's the tone activator from Kaleidos. It is not a favorite of mine but it is the eyeshadow primer that I have right now so I guess I'm going to use it and I will write in the description what colors I'm using for this look because right now I don't know I don't even know what direction I want to go with like I don't even know why I'm filming today because I don't really know what to talk about um a part of me just want to excuse myself as normal because I not posting that much <sighs> But um, I guess you're sick and tired of me excusing myself all the time. And I also want to try to film more, but honestly, I don't know what to do. I think it's so hard right now to come up with things to film. And I don't know if it is because of my no buy or if it is because of um, me being a little bit stressed out and working a little bit too much. I actually don't know. Maybe it's both of those things. It could be but um, yeah, right now I don't know what to film and I don't know what you want to see and uh, <laughs> I am trying to get back in somewhat the schedule but now I haven't filmed for a week I think and it's just I don't know it just is really hard for me just to sit down and film and I honestly don't know why and sometimes it doesn't even feel like I like to put on makeup anymore and that makes me a little bit scared so we will see how this will go and it's now I don't know I don't know which way I want to go I don't know if I want to go green I don't know if I want to go like to these colors and I don't know what to to take for shimmer. I have no idea. I have used all of the shades in this palette and I do like the most of them. Should I do a green look? What looks have I been doing lately? I mean, so yeah, that's why it hasn't come any videos the latest because I, I don't know what to do. And if I have some ideas, I just feel a little bit too tired to actually do them and now I have this one and at the same time I don't want to do videos about me being tired all the time because that's not fun to watch but honestly I just now don't know what to talk about I think I had a really good idea a couple of days ago but you know did I write it down and I did maybe something stupid today after work. I did cut my own bangs and it feels like they are a little bit crooked. But I don't know. 
And yeah, I know I could like go to the hairdresser, but it will cost money and I also have to I go there and um, <laughs> I was like, fuck it, I'm doing it myself. Maybe that was a bad idea. I will see what to say on work tomorrow. I mostly work with guys, so uh, maybe they don't see a difference at all. I don't know. But it feels like it's much shorter on this side than on this side. At the same time, I don't want to have super short bangs, but I don't want them to be too long either. So I don't know. And like, I see a lot of people with bangs on Instagram and I do love it. And I want to look like that, but I'm starting to realize that I don't look like that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, maybe I'm having a little bit of a crisis. I don't know. And now I'm just longing for my vacation to start at work, but I don't have vacation until August, so it is a while. It is some time left for that, but I'm going to be off work a couple of days now in June because it is my dad's birthday. So we are going there, so I'm going to have three days off, and I do really looking forward to that, because the latest now I've been working so, so much. And it's just a lot to do with work, and people are sick. And now people are going to start to go on vacation, so, yeah. But it is like this, like, every damn summer. So we are kind of used to it, but it still isn't, like, super fun. I think I do really like this black. It's not one of these super super pitch dark blacks which I do like because they are easy to work with then and especially if you're not used to working with black shadows it is really nice to have a black that isn't so so dark so I think I do like it it's now I know that I want the shimmer but I don't know which shimmer I do want I don't think I want to go in with the green one. Even though I like this one and I like this one. But I do really like this one and this one as well. Maybe I should go with this one. Yeah, go with this one. I hope it will look good. And now I have to switch the battery on my camera. And okay, another thing that I want to talk about. But I don't know if I want to talk about it. But maybe I should just... Because I'm talking about my feelings on my channel and thoughts that I have. And I do not want to scare any of you. So just hear me out. Sometimes I don't know if I still want to have a YouTube channel. It hasn't gone that far that I'm like seriously thinking about taking a break or just stop putting up videos forever it hasn't gone that far but sometimes i just feel like maybe this youtube thing isn't for me and i don't know i think it is or has a lot to do with I feel somewhat of a pressure that I need to put up videos and I'm really trying to not feel that way anymore but it's it is really hard to not feel that and I don't want to and right now I 
it's not good for me to have the pressure on me. I don't have it that much, but I think it is in the back of my head, even though I don't think it is. And a part of me is like, maybe I should just quit YouTube, but I don't know what to do. Like, because I want to be creative with makeup, I like to put on makeup and yeah, I could just sit at home doing it, but would that be fun? And also, I have friends here on YouTube that I talk with in the comments and people that I watch their videos and it would be really sad to not have that anymore. And it feels like every time I'm announcing that I'm taking a break, I always feel like, oh, okay, now I really want to film. I really want to do this video and this video and this video. And every time I'm talking about having a break, I get so many ideas. I don't know if like the pressure is completely off me. So I am like feeling, I don't know how to describe it but feeling like no pressure whatsoever and just being or doing this with any strings attached at all. I don't know if that is what makes me want to film again. I think it was last June or July. I think it was July and I didn't put up any videos because I did work so much so I didn't have the time or the energy to put on up videos and then I did put up a lot of videos and I think it has something to do with me feeling a pressure Did I really need to put up videos even though you do not put any pressure on me, it's only myself. But every time I'm like, okay, I'm doing, I'm going to have a break. Then YouTube is the most fun thing I know. And that annoys the crap out of me. And, uh, yeah. And even though I think it's fun to maybe film, at least sometimes this fucking thing to edit the shit right now I just hate it I have one I guess you've seen maybe both of them before I edit this video but I have a free looks one palette with Arcana that I have done everything with I haven't just put it up on YouTube or I have uploaded it, but I haven't fixed like a thumbnail or the description or like the cards, anything. And it's just taking such a long while for me. And a part of me is like, maybe I just need to start to push myself a little bit just to do things. But another part of me is maybe I am this tired because I need to rest and I don't really know. It's really confusing to me and I guess you are really confused now as well, which isn't that strange because I am confusing myself. But right now I don't know. This is getting so messy. And I don't know like what I should do. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to put on my skin tint and um, powder my face. Maybe put on a contour as well, I don't know. But I will put on my skin tint, powder my face, and then I come back. And I'm going to like collect my thoughts a little bit. <laughs> Maybe before I continue to talk about this. Because now it just feels like a mess. As a <laughs> finished with my base. For my contour I did use my contour stick from Isadora. I, I do really really love this one. And for my blush I did use this Buskel from Melt. I love this one as well. I can only use this 
this though because the highlighter is a little bit dark for me and for my highlight i did use ozone from nabla now i'm going to do my under eyes and i tried to figure out what more to say um but i don't really know but i don't want you to worry about me quitting youtube because if that if that would be the case i would uh, feel more strongly about quitting and i would talk about it more like direct but maybe i am going on an not an official break but just try to have a break from it in my mind that I guess that you won't see any difference because some weeks I don't put up any videos and some weeks I do and uh, I guess I'm just trying to find a balance but I think it's really hard and sometimes I do feel like I'm in a crisis Maybe not a midlife crisis, but like a crisis because, yeah, you see my hair, cut bangs, and I'm a little bit, I think I want to color, like do a split dye in my bangs. Some, one of my friends have it and people that I follow on Instagram have it as well and I do you think it looks so cool but sometimes i am like scared that i'm too old for doing fun things with my hair even though i follow people that are older than me and do crazy thing crazy things with their appearance but sometimes i feel like i can't do that but i don't know and I not think maybe I should do this this topic. It feels like I'm always like not always, but sometimes I come up with a good topic when I'm almost done and then I'm like, okay, I can't should I just sit and talk to the camera? That feels so awkward. I guess it's not, but it just feels a little bit awkward. I always want to have tattoos. I do not have any tattoos. Uh, but I want to. But I really don't know what. But it feels like I want to have a lot of tattoos. And I think I just should start. But I don't know with what. But maybe just to start. I know like with my septum piercing I pierced it. I don't even know how many years ago. Six? Maybe seven, six. And uh, I have been thinking about piercing my septum since I was 16. And it took me like 10 years. And I've been thinking of getting tattoos since I was 15. And for some reason I just don't. And I don't know what I'm <laughs> afraid of. A part of me, I think my boyfriend hates when I talk about this. A part of me just wants to... It's like, okay, we only live once, I can die tomorrow and not have getting any tattoos, which I want to. So I don't know why I just don't do it. Okay, I'm just going to spray my face. And then I'm like, maybe I should just get a tattoo tomorrow. But then another part of me is like, okay, I want to lose some more weight first. I want to maybe, I don't know have more good looking arms before I do a tattoo but yeah then I have to start with that and that is not going to happen soon I think so I just think I need to start maybe I should just try to figure out a little tattoo that I want and just do it I don't know and it's like with the same things with my ear stretching I think I started to stretch my ears How long ago can that be? Eight years ago maybe. And I did try to stretch them when I was 16 I think. 
And then I did it too fast on one ear rapture and th then I didn't do it. And I'm one of these people that I am always a little bit afraid what others are going to think about me. And I hate that I have those feelings because I don't. I'm like always afraid of what especially people at work would think about me if I change my appearance too much. I was so worried when I was uh, getting my bangs when I go to work and I I hate that with myself. I hate that I feel like people see me in one way and that I'm scared to look in the other way. I have so much cat hair in my armpit. This, this is a shirt dress. It's like the worst fabric ever. Every cat hair in the whole world is sticking to this one but I do love it because it's a really nice to have on. Yeah and I'm all I'm afraid how people are going to see me and uh, that I don't know maybe I could do a whole video about this and just talk about things but then I, I think I need some need to write some things down so I know what to talk about but I hope that you get what I mean and I'm really trying to be one of these people like I'm not going to give a fuck what other people think and it's going better and better but some days you just feel so insecure and it's so scary Okay, I'm going to try to choose a lippy for this. I thought that I was going with a red, but now... I don't know. I do really love this combo on my eyeshadow. I did take... This as a shimmer. Myth and woodland in my crease and an underworld. And I... I think this looks really good actually, I do like this. So I'm going to try to find a lipstick. <sighs> Do I want a red? But th this orange maybe throws it off a little bit. But red goes with everything. I don't know if I should go with this one. This is Rumors from Nabla. This is one of my favorite reds. Okay, I don't think that this was the best red to go with. I think this is like a too happy red. A little bit too bright maybe. I think it would have been looking cooler with a darker one. I'm going to go with Rapture from Lethal instead. So this is a look with the Meet Me in the Underworld. I do really like this palette so much. I, I think it is an amazing palette. And I just wanted to talk about some things. And if you want me or I'm going to try to do a video where I talk about do you know like in high school movies and it's one of the people that maybe are a little bit more of a geek or something and then it is it was spring break or a summer break and they come back and be super cool a part of me wished that I would have it like that like just coming back and being who I want to be even though I right now I don't know who I want to be but yeah, maybe I should do a video about it instead of trying to talk about it now when I have done my makeup. But yeah, that was all for this video and it feels like I messed the whole lip up. It feels like I'm a little bit red around my lips. And this is why you shouldn't change your mind when it comes to a dark lipstick or red lipstick. But it is what it is. Yeah, I really hope that you've liked this video and you do not need to worry about me. I said this again, I don't know how I will sound, but you don't need to worry about me. I just need to find a routine and a new way for YouTube, I don't know. But I really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. Do not miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!